This is what you will be able to do by the end of the video using React.js and Chart.js. So let's start. All right, guys. So first thing we have to do is npx create React app and dot. So the reason why I put dot here because it does not create subfolder. It creates all the files and folders in the folder I am right now. It takes some time. I will see you by the end of the process. Happy hacking, guys. Actually, don't worry about it. We did not hack anything here, Pentagon or NASA. It's just words that create React app shows us after the successful launch. So let's start npm by typing npm start to check our app's current view. As you can see, it's saying us to edit source app.js. Let's do it then. I'm going to narrow down my terminal and delete unnecessary codes here and just leave h1 tag, which, which says hello chart. And as you can see, our page is empty, but saying hello chart only. To create our chart, we are going to use third party library called rechart.js. It's really easy to use and easy to understand library to create charts in React.js. Let's check pie charts to see what kind of pie charts we can use in our project. As you can see on the right side, there is an example codes that explains how to use pie charts and how to give all the information which we can display conveniently. To start with, I'm going to use this two simple pie chart in my project to display number of users in most popular social media apps graphically. So let's create our data to display that in our pie chart inside of array of objects, which we can give two arguments called name and value. For example, Facebook and its users around, um, I don't know exactly, but let's say 2 billion users. One object is not enough, so let's give it more maybe name Instagram and uh, value will be 1 billion and 500 million users. And sort object is uh, Twitter, maybe. And um, oh, I, I have a mistake here that it's, it's not, it shouldn't be a string. Only name should be a string and value should be a number. So name Twitter should be a string and value is a number, which is 1 billion users here. And so let's copy it and give it the name to Telegram and value is 500 million users. One more thing here is changing that hello chart to the title. Our title is social network users. And let's display this pie chart. So first, as I told you, I'm going to use this pie chart and I'm going to copy this piece of code to my project because I don't want to waste your precious time writing every element in tags while it's already ready. Make sure to import every necessary components. Otherwise, our app does not work. So we have to change some things here because in, if you open the terminal, you can see that error. So to fix that, I'm going to delete that second pie um, component because we don't need it. Uh, I am going to change that data 01 to data itself because if you remember in the above we created a constant called data. All right, right now that pie chart is showing us the data we declared in our code. As you can see, there is a really great tooltip which is being displayed if you mouse over the pie chart, but. I think that's not enough. So let's use bar chart as well. So um, I'm going to do what I did. I'm going to copy the uh, piece of code for bar chart as well and import that uh, necessary components. If, if you open the terminal, you can see that and you have to import all of them. Otherwise, our code does not work. So we don't have to change data here because that bar chart can also access our um, data constant, but we have to change that data key PV to value. And then uh, that bar chart can access to our um, data. So as you can see right now that that bar chart is showing us the Facebook, Instagram and Telegram users, uh, but styling is a bit messy here. So I'm going to change it. I'm going to create another div and wrap that uh, wrap our pie chart and bar chart inside that div. And uh, that um, 
class name app, I'm going to give that to our uh, new div. And I'm going to create an H1 tag, which says social media users. And for the first div, I'm going to give a little bit styling, which is text align to center. Uh, okay, I, I forgot to put class name app inside div. So uh, in the CSS file on app, I will create display flex and justify content to center, um, space around and align items to center. And right now, if you reload, you can see your beautiful result. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button and I will see you in my next videos.